Hi folks, yet another piece of my life today is the Kilty Goth. Where did it come from? What's it doing here? Is it going anywhere? Okay, the Kilty Goth, where did it come from? Well, I started off Goth, sort of ended up the man in black used to wear all black, black shirts, black t-shirts, black jeans, black trousers, black shoes, black boots, black short coats, black long coats. So really it's not a name I came up with, it's a name that um, the town gave me. The kilt, well that came along I have a friend online I haven't seen for a long time. A bit of a biker goth, would always wear knee length, knee high boots and a kilt. I thought I like that flipping look, so I'm going to go there. So I did and uh, so I bought, the first kilt I bought was a, a black utility kilt, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, but the name, where, where did the name come from? Well, it was simple really. As uh, soon as I started wearing kilts, I thought, hang on, where do I lie now? If you, if you look at the scheme of things, if you look online, there's that sheet with all the different goths, the vampire goth, the Victorian goth, the trad goth. And I thought, Oh, and where the hell do I fit in now? And I thought, yeah, a kilty goth. So that's how it come about, the kilty goth. And it's never looked back. So that's how the name came about. Now getting back to the utility kilt. What should I do? Should I buy kilt kilt? Should I buy a utility kilt? Utility kilts seem to be pretty much in vogue sort of thing. So I bought black utility kilt. Still got it. Put it on. First day to go out in a kilt. <laughs> that was a strange day. Never, I'd worn a kilt once in my life. Uh, I'd borrowed from a, a piper who were, I was a chef somewhere and I was going to be bringing the Aggies in on uh, Robbie Burns day and uh, he said you can borrow one of my kilts we'll sort of and I sort of wore a kilt and shirt and all that sort of thing to carry this in that was my experience of a kilt that seemed sort of okay um, but came the day of wearing the utility kilt. Put it on, t-shirt, everything else. Hey, looks okay. In the brain, going kilt, skirt, kilt, skirt. <laughs> so I walked out the door with this thing in my mind. I am wearing a skirt. Everybody's going to look at me and go, blokes in a skirt. I don't know whether some did or didn't but that was the strangest flipping day. So I did wear that for a little while and then I thought I'm going to go on to the real kilt and I'm going to buy Sporran to go with the kilt. The one or two bits so that you look at it, it's a kilt. You can see it's a kilt. So I'm a bit cowardly that way. So, yeah, um, that's how that kilt come about, these sort of kilts. The one I'm wearing today, I don't know if you can sort of see, it's a black watch. I've got different styles of uh, kilt. Uh, some people probably think, oh, you just have one kilt. Maybe you've got two kilts. I've got ten kilts. Um, Black watch, 
I've got Le Mont, Gun, McDonald, I think that's it, and totally black. Proper kilt, totally black. When I want to go out looking whoopee goff, then I wear the black kilt. But whatever colour you wear, you still sort of look the part. People know what you are, you don't have to tell them anything. So, <clears throat> yeah, kilts, uh, got quite a few of them. I love wearing them. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a chilly. Love wearing them. I wouldn't go back to wearing jeans and trousers or, and that sort of thing. I did wear jeans for about two days. Something to do with my boots and I didn't want to wear the kilt without the boots. So I wore the black, well I went back to the man in black. Looked in the mirror, all I could see was legs in this black jeans, legs. No, I didn't, I didn't like it. It just didn't look right. And the, 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 the funny thing is, jeans, kilt. The kilt looked more masculine than the jeans did, if, if you can understand that. Uh, so, yeah, kilts are here to stay. Um, I love wearing them, it's me, I wouldn't be the kilty goth if I didn't wear them. And that day that I had to, uh, well I went two days without the kilt and I was back in my black. Again, I'm walking around town, coming across total strangers I'd, for me, I'd never met before in my life coming up to me, not even asking if I was the person, just coming up and going, Where, where's your gear, where's your gear, where's all this stuff? I said, well, explain why for two days. It's not you, it's not you. Get the flipping gear back on. And this was people that, which people look at, People out there in the world and sort of, you know, oh, people out there that don't like goths, that don't like this, the dubious of this, or something that. And I really find that people on the whole, I'd say it's a majority, the vast majority, just don't have that attitude. Got to make sure you haven't got an attitude that gives them an attitude. But I find generally with a kilt, people love a kilt. Uh, goth with a kilt doesn't seem to make any difference. I don't find people ever going, why, why the hell, all this other stuff? Why, why are you goth? Why? Just accept it. So, yeah. Um, when you go out, you've got to be, you, you haven't got to strut, you, but you've got to walk with confidence, you've got to own the space around you, you've got to own what you are, but not in a cocky way or anything, just confidence. If you've got confidence in yourself, it gives other people confidence, they're quite happy with you. And I, practically every day I'll get people stop and chat oh, and very often it'll be what tartans, some of this, some of that. They'll find a way to have a chat to you. That's bloody marvellous. <clears throat> the other big thing about wearing a kilt is uh, the ladies. Ladies do seem to like a kilt. And it changes over the year. Come, come what we call autumn, I think in America you call fall. 
weather's sort of changing it changes and from the women you tend to get but it's cold under there isn't it they, they want to say something to you and it's usually I bet it's cold under there isn't it or it's drafty under there or whatever but that's the winter question that they'll generally use to talk to you Come spring and the sun shines a little bit and especially if it really comes out. I remember a few weeks ago it, it got a beautiful day and I thought, flipping hell, look at the women just psh, out of nowhere. Um, go past in a car and they're talking to you out the window. And so yeah, that that time of year comes and the sentence changes from I bet it's cold under there to what are you wearing under your kilt then? <laughs> so I did have this saying uh, I used to say good girls don't ask that question bad girls find out for themselves <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's a bloody good idea. If you, if you saw the look in them eyes. <laughs> uh, the look in the eyes was what one woman said to me one day. Don't flipping, don't state that to me more than twice. <laughs> and I did think to myself, hang on, uh, if I keep doing this, I'm going to bloody regret it in the middle of town one day. <laughs> They just get this look in their eye that says, go on, Fricky, tempt me again, go on. <laughs> so uh, I did come up with another one that I use sometimes, <laughs> which is, what are you wearing under the kilt? Uh, lipstick. <laughs> that, that does have a different effect. The sort of <laughs> not quite sure what to say back to you. <laughs> but they'll still... They'll still pull it round. <laughs> so yeah, it's all a bit of fun. People love a bit of fun. So yeah, that's uh, really the the kilted goth. It don't it doesn't come that easy. You have to work at it. Um, you have to put a lot of stuff out there and keep putting your stuff out there and interacting with people and and then you become the kilted goth or whatever if you call yourself moon dust or you call yourself darkest goth on the planet whatever name you use if you want that name you've got to create that name you you can't just put it there and it's suddenly overnight becomes anything so you have to work at it and i've had one or two blokes especially one used to get a bit flipping annoyed because he wore a kilt and he was forever ah oh, I'd love that name uh, and he didn't realize that he wanted what went with the name and I'm trying to say to him look I could I could step back use another name give you the kilted guff it won't make you that person because you've got to be that person you've got to create that person so whatever persona you are whatever you want to use the goff duck whatever whatever name you've got to decide in your own mind what is that person what's that person going to be is it going to be my the kilt of goth is me with you know you, you add bits in uh with a kilt you can sort of have you running down the bloody hillside brandishing the sword or something but yeah you've got to, whatever whatever you are so i'm talking to anybody really whatever you are whatever name you're using up there you've got to make that name yours and you've got to become 
that name so that people recognize it and go oh yeah so and so it doesn't come overnight just by sticking a name at the top of a channel or something like that so yeah that's it more or less in a nutshell without going into all the gory details so what i'll do is i'll put up a little bit of a picture gallery for the of a better word i suppose a few pictures of me wearing the kilt and some of the silly things i do with it probably so toddle along and have a look at that <laughs> so there you go that's me in a kilt so yeah me normally it's just an everyday sort of occurrence I do I do do I do do I do do a little bit of uh, modeling and generally it's because uh, people approach me to do a, a photo shoot or something but I I do 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 you got got to find a bloody way around that i do at times partake in that <laughs> but on the other hand i do do yeah. so folks yeah the guilty goth so yeah whatever you are work at it put some effort in and create that character don't create a character that isn't you that is totally flipping fictitious um, because you've got to meet people and when you meet people you've got to be who you say you are otherwise you're going to look a flipping dipstick so have fun i'm gonna <coughs> go back to this big mug of whiskey <laughs> as if and catch you all later. <laughs>